I fell in love with immunology my first year at Harvard Medical School. At that time, the, the medical education was organized primarily as lectures, as you know, and, and blocks. And at the end of the first year, in the spring of the first year, we had our immunology block. It was taught by, um, by Kurt Block, who is a rheumatologist and allergist at the Mass General. And I became completely riveted by the idea that, you, that, that the immune system can recognize self-tissues as self and not as foreign, and that many diseases arise when that recognition becomes impaired. So I really, I really kind of fell in love with immunology at that point and signed up for a one-on-one -on -one tutorial with one of the immunologists um, at Harvard, Emil Yunanaway, one of the lustrous uh, immunologists in the country, in the world. So I did a reading course with Emil um, over the summer and also continued working um, in my dad's laboratory on on skeletal biology, but it, w it was really clear after that semester that immunology was the field I wanted to spend time in. I'm, I'm struck by, um, let me put it this way, there are so many diseases that are likely to be dealt with by a study or a knowledge of immunology, but how many people are working in autoimmunology? Which, which just talk about the allure of that and, and why. Well, I can tell you, it, f from my point of view, it was very alluring. And I think that the concept that your immune system all of a sudden forgets that your joint tissue is self, right, and thinks of it now as foreign, or your kidney, or your lungs, or whatever, since the immune system is so pervasive, um, is in many ways a startling and disturbing concept, right? So a lot of us, I think, got drawn into the field um, because of that, and I, I certainly did. I found a disease like systemic lupus um, to be utterly fascinating. And I remember tr uh, thinking about where and in whose lab I would do immunology because I spent a fourth year of medical school uh, basically in, in an immunology laboratory. And I went to, um, and I went to, to, to Harvey Cantor um, and I asked him whether I could join his laboratory and I, and I said, well, I really want to work on lupus, models of lupus. And Harvey said something then which I have never forgotten which is the best way to understand autoimmune disease is to understand the normal immune system. And I think that's absolutely true. For many, many years, it's really difficult to investigate particular diseases, particularly in the setting of human disease. Now, it was a total revolution. You can really look at human tissues and we have the genomic capabilities to look for uh, gene associations and so it's become, a, it's become it, we're at a point now where what we call translational medicine is actually a reality. It wasn't a reality 30, 20, even 10 years ago. And at that time the quality of basic immunology research was far higher than the quality of what we call applied research in immunology. I think that's changing. I think that has changed.